Okay, boys and girls, I wanna to talk to you about a special text feature. And we're talking about text features and they present important parts of the story in a different way. And I wanna to talk to you about a text feature that we really have not talked about at all. And it is a special punctuation feature. And it is called an ellipsis. Everybody say ellipses. ellipses. Now, we have a listed here, and we don't even have an example of one. But I'm going to show you one because you've seen it before. So let's go here, and it looks like this. It looks kind of like, you may have seen it before. It looks like this. Oops, where's a pen? It looks like this. It's a dot. Yes, people use them. You use them all the time. Well, not all the time, but sometimes we use them. And does anybody know why we might use them? Why might you see those ellipses? Why might we use them, Teddy? If you're not finishing a sentence, and why might you not finish a sentence? Oh, because you're almost off the page? Well, sometimes that could be a reason why. Ivy? Because if the, if the, if the sentence is like, to be continued. To be continued? Okay. Logan? Right. Like, I'm talking to Logan. When the, when you do that, that, that when there's like just a list of a bunch of things. When there's a, a what? A, like you write the category and then you have to list all the stuff. Yes, when there's a list, sometimes you have a dot, dot, dot when there's a list. When there's an ellipsis, you uh, ellipses, you put an ellipsis in. When there's a list of things, you put a dot, uh, you put the ellipses in. Yes? Maybe if you're just taking like a pause, like you're talking, you're know, like, just like taking a little pause from, you know, like you're just, you're not speaking, you're like. Definitely, that is, indicates a pause. That's one of the main reasons why you would put that in would be for a pause. So it could show a pause, like in a dramatic moment. A dramatic moment, would you would have one of those in. Let's say you were writing a scary story. Oh, and you and were, the yeah, the, the door, the creaky door opened. And then you would have the dot, dot, dot. That would show a pause. So these, the ellipses, So it is a pause. That's usually what they indicate. They indicate some sort of a pause in what is happening. You could put them in. You can also use them, and you're probably not going to use them for this, if you are quoting somebody and you are leaving out part of the quote. It would show that something is missing. So it could show that something is missing, but mostly we would be using them to show a pause. So if you're reading something and you see those, it means you should pause. Yes. So can I see that in like the, the title for videos on YouTube sometimes? Oh, are those? Well, sometimes it means that the title is long and it's not all fitting as well. That's what that can sometimes mean in a YouTube video, is that the length of the video is too long and it's not going to show all of it in the YouTube title. That's sometimes what that's showing. But if we're reading a story and we see that, that means we need to take a pause. So um, I was wishing that there was one in our story we were reading this week, but there wasn't. Isn't that odd? There wasn't one in our story. But sometimes they are in different books that we're reading and there will be the, where we're taking a pause in our story. So we are, should be looking for our ellipses. Okay, boys and girls, that shows a pause in the action. And I have some examples for you. It wasn't one in our story, but I have some in our
here some examples of some ellipses. Sometimes you see it, and it'll say, to be continued. Have you ever seen that, where it says yes. to be continued with the three little dots? That's an example. Yes. I've seen it on TV, where it's like to be continued with the dots. Yes, they use it then. And here somebody is pausing because they're thinking, well, think, think, think. I don't know, she said. That is a pause because someone's thinking. You use an ellipsis then when somebody is thinking. And then we have it. The chocolate-coated lollies were interesting. That's when you don't know what to say. So here it's indicating that they're not quite sure what to say. So they're pausing to think. And they come up with the word interesting. So that's showing a pause where somebody's trying to think. Here we have O for drama. And the winner is Dean. So that would be where you would have one there where you're trying to build up some drama because everybody wants to know who the winner is, right? Or you're getting an award. So your ellipses are here while you're waiting to announce. Here you can sometimes have an ellipsis where somebody gets interrupted. So I was walking in the woods and I saw, hey there, Julie, Sarah said interrupting. So that would be if you were writing something and somebody interrupts, <coughs> where the sentence isn't continued. Because do people, when people are talking to each other, do you sometimes get interrupted in your talking? Yes. Yes, yes. yes it happens all the time. And so if you were writing a conversation, you were writing like a real life conversation, sometimes in real life people get interrupted and you would have to know, how do I write a conversation that gets interrupted? This is how you would write an interrupted conversation. You would write it with the ellipses, the ellipses, right there with the three little dots. That shows the conversation was not finished. Yes? My brother does that to me all the time. Yes. That happens in real life all the time. But if you were writing a story, like a real life story, where that was happening to you, you would have to wait to have to have a way to show that that had happened. And this is how you would show it. So now you know how you would show that when you were writing it. You would put the three little dots, the ellipses. Oh, look at here. There's a really big spider said Johnny shaking, so if you're scared, you could use those because you would have a pause in between. Oh, in the, night, in the 1400s, um, there were no cars. When somebody kind of um, having problems speaking out loud in front of people, you know, people get nervous and they kind of stutter when they're talking, when they're super nervous in front of a crowd, you would use the ellipses then as well. Said Henry to the class, stammering. Henry hated doing speeches. So those little ellipses would show that as well. Everyone was swimming at the beach when suddenly the sun went pitch black. Oh, that's when you would have those because then people are wondering what happened. That would indicate some drama. Once upon a time, there lived a dragon and, hey, I don't like this story, Mom, exclaimed Shelly. So that was an interruption. You use them during an interruption. The award for best art project goes to, pause, Madeline Woods. So those are all times you're going to be using the ellipsis. Who's got a question about when to use them? Who's seen them in their reading? Who's used them when they're writing? I know you guys use them because I see your writing. So you could use them. Okay. Very good. So this is when we use it. Just a little reminder.